Hey, Shalom, Akim. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bracha Thumb. I want to first say Bracha Thay Yahweh, Bracha Thay Yahweh Shai. Bracha Thay Yahweh, Bracha Thay Yahweh Shai. Bracha Thay Yahweh, Bracha Thay Yahweh Shai. The water, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. For another day, all right? Another day closer to the end of the so called white man, the end of his great kingdom, Babylon. Babylon the Great, which you know it as the United States of America. And ultimately, all his rule that he has throughout the world. We're living in a time of the end of Esau, the end of his rulership. The so-called white man, as we always tell you, through, and we're going to keep telling you until our Lord and Savior comes back for us, that the so-called white man in the Bible, they are the Edomites. All right? When you read about Esau or Edomites, those are, that's, that's the so-called white race. The one who you call God did not name them white people. Just like he didn't name you so-called Negroes, Negroes or black people. All right, you Hispanic, you so-called Latin tribes. He didn't name you Hispanics or Latin. All right, he didn't name you North American Indians. He didn't even name the, China, the Chinamen. He didn't name them Chinese. He didn't name them Japanese. Those are all bullshit names that were, that were labeled upon everybody on the earth right by the so-called white man going back to the greeks on up all right also the chosen people of the heavenly father which are you so-called negroes latinos and native americans you are the israelites you are god's chosen people all right don't let nobody fool you don't let nobody tell you otherwise all right and that's why this word has been this word that we're teaching that's why we say all, all praises to yahweh bashim yahweh shai Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, the water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, this word has been, this word has gotten throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, everybody in their mama know that, know about the fact that the Israelites are you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Whether they agree with it or disagree with it, it's out there, man. All right, the Lord said His word shall go out throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, and so we're at the end. We're at the we're and we're at the end of this devil. I am glad to say, I am happy to say, I am happy to broadcast that we're at the end of the so-called white man's rulership, and he knows it, man. All right, and if he don't know it, he's gonna know it, right? That's why right now their financial system is about to crumble, and that's beautiful, man. All right, we say shy. We're living in a time now where you can't trust your banks, right? So then if the banks crash, this whole place crashes, man. Right? We're living in a time now where now I, I just heard I just heard I was cracking up earlier, man. I'm listening to the news, right? News radio, if you will. And I'm hearing that there's a all girl college. What I think it's Wesleyan. Wesleyan College. I think that's in Massachusetts or Rhode Island, somewhere up that way. But it's an all girls school. Now they gotta uh, now they have to um admit non-binary and transvestites and all kind of all this weirdness man that's why that's how you know this devil first of all that's how you know the so-called white man has to be the devil he has to be satan because only satan will make laws like this he'll make laws like this then complain about it that's the devil that's why he's the word devil means he's the, the deceiver he deceives you so anyway we're at the end of his whole all this garbage, all this sickness, all right? All this shit is coming to, a, coming to an end. And we're at the end, all right? This is, um, I'm going to start with this scripture here. This is 2nd Ezra's, right? Being that I said what I said, that we're at the end of the so-called white man's rulership. This is 2nd um, Ezra's 6 and 7. It says, then answered I, right? This, this is the prophet Ezra speaking, speaking to that angel. Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? So going back 2,500 years ago, the prophet Ezra, which is an Israelite, all right? A so-called black man. So you can understand, man. All right. All the prophets of the Lord were Israelites. Of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. We are God's chosen people. All right? 
I'm going to keep pushing that too, man. All right? It says, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? So he wanted to know, When was the end of all this crap? 2,500 years ago. Right? But we had some waiting to do, man. We had, we had some waiting to do. All right? So it says, when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follows? Right? So in, in order to understand who the first is and it that follows, you got to read on. This is verse 8. It says, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac. When Jacob and Esau were born, going back to Jacob and Esau, the twin children that Isaac and Rebekah had, one came out normal, one came out abnormal, one came out red. And the only red people on the planet Earth is a so-called white race. They're red. They are not white. They are red. I got this red cord. I got this red cord right here from my... um. Uh, my um, my um, adapter over here, right? My charger is white. I could take this charger and put it next to any so-called white person right now, and they're not going to match this charger. They're not white. They gave themselves that name back in the 1600s. Look, look it up. They call themselves that. God did not call them. And I'm going to say the word because you idiots know him as God. His name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai. But Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Name you people Esau or Edom, and he made you red. The word Edom means red. Esau means, or Aisha means wasted away. What's wasted away from you? Your pigmentation, your color. That's why you fry up in the damn sun. You talking about you the superior race. You can't, you and the sun, you and the sun are not friends. All right. You and the elements aren't friends. The Lord made you that way. To show that you're the inferior ones. And the Lord made you that way. And to smack us in the face. To say look. you The Lord told us look. You disobey my commandments. And my laws. I'm going to take these low lowlifes. And put them over you. And the Lord did that. The Lord did that. Did we, did we deserve it? Yes we did. But guess what? We're at the end of our punishment right now. From slavery all the way till now. That was our, that's our jail sentence. But now we're at the end of it. And I say again, I say, man. All right. So read on here. It says, And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, When Jacob and Esau were born, and Jacob is the father of the Israelites. Esau is the father of you so-called white people, you Edomites, you dirty, disgusting hunkies. The ones, the one from your elites, from your elites, the international bankers on down to the PY, PWT, poor white trash. You are the, you are bums and you are the Edomites and we're at your end right now. From the elites down to Joe Sixpack hunky. It says, and when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Going back to Genesis, 20, the, um, the 25th chapter, 20, 21st verse on down. It, it, it tells you what happened when they were born. Esau, the father of the so-called white race, he was born first. And then when our father Jacob came out, came out, of the bowels of um of um Rebecca, his hand was holding the heel of Esau, and that was symbolic. That was symbolic that we're gonna bring your ass down in the times that we're in right now. How can I prove it? I'm reading it here right now. That's why the angel brought this this story or this history. Let me say it right. Brought this history back to um Ezra's mind. He said that Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. Where are we at right now? Esau's end. His world coming to an end. That's why there's going to be a financial crash. That's why there's going to be race war, race riots. 
Right now, they're opening up the floodgates of the of the so-called um, aliens, illegal aliens. They're opening up the floodgates because they really believe, the, the elites, they really believe they're going to bring in this chaos so they could bring in their new world order. But no, you're doing the Lord's bidding to bring in a chaos, to, in, um, which the chaos is going to lead to what? Your downfall. For Esau is the end of the world. So Esau, there's nothing you can do. Like right now, I was talking to a brother. You know, damn cops pulled him over, giving him a, giving him a bullshit ticket. And he said, look, man, we ain't worrying. The, the brother told me, he said, look, man, I ain't worrying about that shit because look, we're at his end right now. Let them have his little, let them have their little fun. Let them have their little fun. They're at their end, man. And, and by the way, we put curses on that DOT cop. We put curses on his ass, man. That the Lord drops him. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So that world that's to come belongs to who? Jacob. Who's Jacob? Israel. The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. All right? You so-called Negroes. You so-called Latinos. You so-called Native Americans, man. You are the Israelites. I got another scripture. Just bear with me one second here. All right? Getting another scripture here. This is um, Lamentations 4 and 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. And the Lord is the Lord is being sarcastic. He's telling you so-called, he's telling the so-called white man from your elites on down to rejoice, be glad. Right? You got the world right now. Right? The Lord gave, wait, uh, Job 9 and 24 tells you the earth, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. Who controls the earth right now? The wicked, the so-called white men. There's no denying that. They pro they proudly admit that. They'll tell you that. Well, the little white man, the white man is it. We're the ones that came with everything. Ah, we control everything, right? Especially their elites. They think they, they think that we're at the point now where their elites believe that they're God. That's why they're gonna, that's that's why they're planning on crashing your financial world and coming with that digital shit, which comes in with what the MOTB. Because once that's established, they they just know their God. And and you have to remember too, in all and and doing all these things that they're all these plans that they have, and all the and, and all these things they're planning to do. You better remember, you so called blacks. All right. You so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, they want to do away with all of you, all the way. That's Psalms the eighty-third chapter. They're they they they're, they're licking their chops to destroy us as a nation because they know who we are. They know that we're the Israelites, and they un they understand in order, in order to have their new world order, we got to be gone. It says, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. What's that cup? The cup that we had to go through, the slavery, and all the hell that we've been going through from slavery till now. Being on the bottom, not just being on the bottom, just being on the, in the gutter. The so-called white man's going to go through that right now. He's going to go through that. The cup is going to be passed to you. The Lord pa we already the Lord passed it to us already. But guess what? We are the children of the heavenly Father. Our lot is to be joint heirs with our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, who is a black man. Our lot is to rule forever with our Lord and Savior. Your lot is to be the devil, the deceiver, then to serve a thousand years in hardcore slavery. Then after that slavery term is over, there's going to be no more of you left. You're going to be extinct. You're always talking about something being extinct, right? The so-called white men love, they love talking about something being extinct. But according to the Bible, you as a people are going to be extinct. Thus saith the Lord. And for that, we say, All right. Hey, man, I'm happy. I'm feeling, I'm feeling. I'm feeling amped right now. 
Because these prophecies are singing, man. They're singing. Only the only major prophecy we're waiting for is that MOTB. And we see it coming. We see it humming and coming at you. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The whole world sees your, your, your sees you for who you are, which is the devil. And by the way, that, that war with Russia, that war with Russia is going to escalate, man. Thus saith the Lord. All right. That nuclear war is going to be a reality. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom. All right. I want to say all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. For water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Much double honors to the apostles, our elders, and much love to all you brethren out there, man, that trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and waiting for that day. All right? Shalom.